Hello, Cousin Johnny here. We'd like to thank our sponsors for the Buzzin' with Cousin show. We thank you. Thank you, that garlic stuff. If you look like garlic, you're going to love it. Put it on just about anything. That garlic stuff. Tuesday, Alvarado Farmer's Market, or go to thatgarlicstuff.com. Thank you. Thank you, Art. I Heart You Candles, located right in front of Fisherman's Wharf. Beautiful hand-poured candles. These are uh, very inspirational candles. Call Sherry at 574-9446, right in front of Fisherman's Wharf. They're great. Thank you, My Max Fit Meals. 520 Fremont Street. Grab and go healthy meals. They're delish. Gra on your way from home from work, go grab some, heat them up, and fantastic. Thank you, Sud Cyber Laundry. 709 Lighthouse, Pacific Grove. Great modern machines. Big screen TV, coffee. And a great friendly staff. Thank you, Suds. Thank you, the Whiskey Club, 425 Alvarado Street. Over 400 whiskeys to choose from. Go in, relax, have a drink. They have a bottle shop, they have room for special events. The Whiskey Club, thank you. Thank you, storyteller, author, and all-around good guy, Tony Albano. Tony has written three books, the latest being Cherish, about a New York teenager and a nun find love. Thank you, Tony. And if you want to order the book or find out more about Tony, go to Tony, T-O-N-Y, Albano, A-L-B-A-N-O, storyteller.com. Check it out. Thank you. Thank you, sponsors, for the Buzzing with Cousins show. We thank you. Hello. How's everybody doing out there? Cousin Johnny here in Sand City on the corner of Contra Costa and Redwood at Frank DeGuano's D Motorsports. Frank, the owner, he specializes in uh, race cars. And he also races himself. Um, the Festival of Murals, a project that Sand City does where they bring muralists from all over to uh, put some murals on the walls. Eventually, there's going to be uh, all the walls in Sand City will be covered with beautiful murals. So this is D Motorsports. There's Frank's race car right there. Looks like there's Frank inside. And on the left top corner there, that's the corkscrew at the world famous Laguna Seca Raceway. Okay, let's talk to Frank. Hello, Cousin Johnny here with uh, Frank DeGuano. Frank, how you doing today? Doing great, Johnny. How you doing? Great. Uh, thank you for inviting me uh, to view your beautiful mural. Frank, uh, you're here at uh, on the corner of uh, Redwood and Contra Costa, and uh, you have D Motor Sports specializing in racing, and you're a, a race car driver yourself. That's right. So... Uh, Frank, uh, that mur that mural, we're going to look at it a little closer in a little while, but uh, how did it happen? Well, Johnny, they uh, have a uh, the West End celebration over here, and over the years they've wanted to uh, have a mural contest, and so uh, this year, with the um, uh, uh, with the help of the Sand City uh, board and the uh, new curators which is uh, Cameron Mosberg uh, with Talking Walls. They uh, put together uh, the murals here at, at here in Sand City. Beautiful. And it was called the uh, West End uh, Weef 
mural fest. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I had been talking to the city about doing a mural that has uh, a connection with Monterey, Laguna Seca, the race cars. And uh, finally, it came to fruition. Uh, the uh, artist, his name is Phasm. He's from Modesto. Uh, and he painted a lot of the uh, uh, American graffiti murals in Modesto. Uh, but through Talking Walls and Phasm, they designed this 80s retro style mural with the helmet and the reflection coming down the world famous corkscrew of Laguna Seca. That is really great. Frank, I mean, uh, this is your business and to have a mural like this is really something else. There's a corkscrew right there. Yeah. Rolex. That is really first class. Now, Frank, I think that's you in that race car, isn't it? It sure is. Yep, that was a picture of me from There's Frank coming in that down, race car uh, right racing there. at Laguna Seca. I've been racing uh, this car there since uh, 19, uh, excuse me, uh, 2017 with this car. Now, Frank. Uh, what do you got? What, what do we have here? Well, this is a 1959 Elva Courier. It has a fiberglass body with a twin tube chassis. And it has an MG type running gear. And uh, Elva cars were made in England. And they were the uh, assembly plant for the McLaren Privateer race cars. Wow, that's really... Yeah. Mark Donahue uh, won the championship in one of these cars. He was one of the most recognized uh, early Can-Am race car drivers. Number 10, yeah. Yeah, and this is, this is chassis number 110, and that's why I gave it that number. It's the 110th car that left the factory. Okay, great. Now, Frank, uh, a few years back, you took this uh, to Laguna Seca and you raced, right? Yeah, I, I sure did. Yeah, the last time I raced it was in 2021. And uh, I finished 10th overall, and uh, I'm really proud of, uh, of the car, uh, and uh, it's you and the machine yeah. racing. Now, how did it feel, uh, you know, to be on that world-famous corkscrew? I mean, oh, it's dynamite, you know. It's a thrill. Your, your, your guts, your stomach go up to your throat as you go yeah. down the hill. You know, you're yeah. accelerating, you're shifting, uh, hard braking at the bottom of the hill. It's really exciting, Johnny. Yeah. I love it. I remember when you went, you were telling me about it. Yeah. That's really great. So, uh, Frank, uh, let me, uh, tell us about what you do here at uh, D Motorsports. Well, basically, I uh, cater to uh, vintage race cars uh, clients, um, and uh, I, do the, I do all the race uh, preparation on the different types of cars, whether it's a Sauber, Lola's, Porsche's, Elva's. Um, uh, formula cars, uh, sports racers, um, and then I do uh, track support where I take the clients to the track or drive okay, them to yeah. different race tracks and uh, take care of them at the track. I think I've, I've been out there with you uh, yeah. a couple of years ago. It was pretty exciting. Yeah. And, uh, so. uh, you're right there in the, what, is, what do they call it, the paddock? Yeah, in the, yeah. In the, in the hot pits, yeah. In the hot pits, yeah. yeah. the paddock where, is where, where I do all the work uh, during before the race, yeah. How long you been here in the uh, Sand City? Well, right? I've been at this, uh, uh, at this shop here since uh, 1997. And uh, before that, I, I uh, had a shop in Dallas, Texas. Okay. I worked on a Can-Am team in Dallas, Texas, where we won the championship in 1984. And before that, I was at Chafee College, uh, where uh, we learned how to, to restore, uh, to build race cars. Paul Newman used to donate all of his old race cars. We would take them apart and put them back together and go race. And then I worked for the Jim Russell Race Driving School at Ontario Motor Speedway. And that's how it started. My career started. Wow, that's really great, Frank. So uh, I know when somebody's around Monterey is talking about... Uh race cars and racing uh they mention your name so well thank you yeah it's really great so uh frank this uh so there's 
There's murals all over uh, San City. You're There's right? beautiful murals all over, different style, different ones, you know. Um, and uh, I encourage uh, the people to stop by, to drive by, and have a look around, uh, park your car, have a walk. Uh, sometimes on uh, uh, Thursday nights, they have the... Uh, uh, the West End group over here, yeah, that uh, open up and uh, uh, and uh, have beverages, and you can have Music, a beverage yeah. at Post No Bills, and uh, and they do a little small little catering and uh, play games, and uh, it's a nice fun gathering. And yeah, they play music. Totally... It's uh, the West End. This West End area here is very very cool. As a matter of fact, back in uh, two thousand and seven, I was one of the five. Uh, people chosen as craftsmen yeah. uh, for the West End celebration. And uh, so I've always been part of this. Uh, I think San City is a great place. It's uh, basically Monterey's industrial area. Industrial and art. And art, and uh, exactly. Art, and what a combination of industrial and art. You bet. And it, it doesn't get any better than this. You betcha. Well, Frank, uh, thank you so much for inviting me here at this great mural. I encourage uh, everybody to, you know, if you're around, just take a drive and check out all the murals here at Sand City. Yeah. And uh, Frank's mural is on the corner of Contra Costa and Redwood. Yeah. So check out this mural and... Uh, Check out the corkscrew. Yep. So, Frank, thank you so much. Have a great day and looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you, Johnny. There's there's the artist's initials over Phasm there. Phasm and Talking Walls is the group, the creators of the West End Art Festival. Thank you, and uh, those are great artists. We love it. American, thank you, Johnny. American graffiti. That's it. Thank you, everybody. Bye.